everyone. Welcome in to podcast number seven. We are going to be speaking the prophetic word today on Tarot by Aubrey. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I am hearing, or I was appointed to, the verse today, which is Philippians 3, 7. And it says, but whatever gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What does that mean? Let's read it again. But whatever gains to me, I now considered loss for the sake of Christ. So whatever you have gained in this physical realm, it will all be lost in the sake of Christ. Whatever it is that is yours, it is his like you have to leave it behind right you can't dwell in the riches if that makes sense or materialistic things right it's a soul thing for Christ so he goes on to say uh, Peter said surely we have left everything to follow you and he's speaking to Christ like he's like crying out like we've left everything like they just left like <laughs> to follow God to follow in his footsteps and it's and it's amazing to see like how the believers can just take that leap of faith and just leave everything behind like how many of us can just hold on to like so much like just pain um, trauma, anything, like, possessions, like, we just hold on for dear life, and if Christ is saying, let go, you will be able to follow me, you will be able to go with me, right, and then, um, he goes on to tell this story, a man fell on his knees and asked Jesus what he had to do to gain eternal life, and Jesus replied, go and sell everything, that you have and give to the poor and you will have a treasure in heaven so he's saying give away everything it doesn't even matter like it what matters is in your heart what matters is what's in your soul what matters is you gave back to the needy gave back to people that are suffering you know and this man was a wealthy man but he was sad he didn't know how to have happiness in his heart he didn't understand that concept whereas Peter he worked for everything right Peter's like well what do you mean like I've left everything everything that I have worked for I've left to find you to follow you and now this man who's wealthy and sad is like begging on his knees what can I do to get into the door what can I do to have internal life and Jesus is saying just go sell everything give it away give it to the poor give it to somebody who is in need because that doesn't matter in the internal life because you will have fulfilled bliss love unconditional fulfillment happiness like you don't need any of that other stuff in the internal life so yeah then I began to write down you know the man lacked the glow the unconditional love that fire that dedication to Jesus so when he had to come to Jesus as the savior and redeemer not just as a historical character from the bible stories but as the risen lord okay then one has found the greatest treasure that has yet to be found in life. So once you see him as not just this biblical figure or people that just make a character out of him, you know, once you have found the Lord kind of rising up and within you internally, that love, that unconditional fire, love, warmth inside of your heart, then you'll finally know what tr the treasure actually feels like and looks like and is because all this materialistic things in the physical realm that's it like I said in the beginning it doesn't matter he said sell it all you can be poor for all he cares right it doesn't matter about the wealth it doesn't matter about the riches it doesn't matter you know help other people to get to the next step is basically what he's saying and you'll find 
the eternal life in the afterworld, finding that unconditional love, fire, passion within you, right? That dedication to what Jesus is wanting you to do. So it goes on to say, Peter couldn't grasp back then, and neither then could we. Like, we can't understand that concept until the moment Jesus breathes on us as he did Peter and says, receive the Holy Spirit. So that really touched me. That comes from John 20, 22. Uh, Peter couldn't grasp it back then. Like, he couldn't see. He couldn't see why he had to leave everything just to follow. But once Jesus breathes air on you and says, receive the Holy Spirit, it's like you're awakened, you're alive again. It's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. You are able to live again. I don't know if this is resonating with anybody, but this is the message that um, he has kind of made me dwell on like we don't need to gain anything and anything that we do gain it's it's a loss and in, in the in the eyes of Christ if that makes sense so in a, in a sense like we need to let go of our ego um, the ego is not of Christ if that makes sense it's not internal internal love right it's not that passion that unconditional heartfelt kindness that Jesus perceives, like, gives off and radiates. He says, none of that materialistic things matter. Go with what's in your heart. If your heart tells you to give to the needy, like, right, right now, okay? We're living in this right now. Like, there's so many people who need help. And there's so many people that are just hanging on for dear life to all of their, you know, riches and everything. Like, the rich is hanging on to the rich, and they're not giving back to the poor, Right, whereas the poor they're suffering and they don't know how to get up a level, um, and they're just staying at rock bottom. But he, but God is saying, you know what, that doesn't even matter, even if you are poor, you still have to let go of everything. Um, you know, that pain, that suffering, that heartache, that that the the grudge, you know what I mean? Like you still got to let it go in order to get to the next level in the eyes of Christ. So um, the last verse that I'm pulling up today is uh, Mark 10, 28 to 31. And he says, then Peter spoke up, we have left everything to follow you. He goes on to say, truly, I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, etc., along with persecutions and in the age to come internal eternal life but many who are first will be last and the last will be first so basically the rich will be poor the poor will be rich it's gonna flip-flop you guys um in the internal because the the greedy are so clung onto their their riches right now in this world in this physical realm that they don't understand that they have to be one with Christ in order to get to the eternal life so now they're begging out why why me right and um, he's saying go get rid of everything like that it doesn't matter in the eternal life so you know keep that in mind when you are just be humble about what you have right now and understand that uh, you have to let go of it um, whether that be people uh, materialistic things because people can be toxic too like sometimes we have to separate ourselves from those certain situations in order to grow in the spirit of God so uh, let me know if this resonates or touches your heart or at least lets you think a little bit of how to move forward in the walk of Christ so thank you so much much love and light and many blessings to you and your family take care everybody